Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pakulski. Today we will be, we will be starting a new uh, financial model. Uh, this will be a mobile application financial model business plan. And I hope you will enjoy this uh, uh, group of videos. Um, I have an empty Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So um, we will be creating uh, this financial model from scratch. Um, at the end of uh, this group of videos, I will be giving all the links on the process of creation uh, of this financial model. So uh, maybe this information will be available for you. You may give us a like, subscribe, uh, share this video with your friends. You can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas. We can help you with that. Uh, also, you can uh, look at the process of financial modeling and uh, look and uh, think about your business idea about your startup uh, you may be thinking of uh, what types of uh, data you need to start maybe you are missing something so um, let's start so first of all let's uh, let's prepare our uh, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet for modeling I will freeze the first column and the first uh, very important thing we should start with is uh, timeline modeling because startup is something that always moves uh, from left to right the date of uh, release can always move from uh, this date to a month ahead or two months ahead because our web developers or uh, testers need to there's some bugs and so on that kind of stuff so that's why um, we will have and we will face a modeling a uh, huge amount of scenarios with uh, moving uh, the release date from left to right from the right to left inside the timeline and all the investment plans um, should uh, must always displace uh, and we can't do it manually because we will make mistakes so that's why our timeline must be completely optimized so first of all um, um, I'm doing so uh, I'm creating um, the library of years um, for our project so we will have a 10 year horizon So this color will be the color of all our inputs through the whole financial model. So all other cells will be optimized. So every uh, every other uh, every other cell has formulas like this. So and uh, the uh, cells with uh, this color they are the inputs because we are putting uh, the the values of inputs inside the cells. So then. Um, here we have the list of months so what's next uh, then we start with um, release release date so let's start with specifying the release date this here we will place year year, month, so this will be a new block of inputs, uh, 
for the for year I will use data validation. Uh, here I will be putting here the list. Uh, because of its of this data being an input, I'm coloring it with blue, like this. So this is the input, this is the input, this will also be an input, so I'm coloring it with also with blue. Um, this will be a data validation list, and I'm picking the list from here, pressing enter. So for example, the release can be in August 2022. Okay, um, then let's create the timeline. So, timeline, uh, so we have 10 year horizon. This will be finishing in DQ column. Believe me, your horizon finishes here. So the first, uh, the first year is two of our projections is 2022. Now I'm adding to this value plus one. So uh, the trick of this exercise, if we want to start our project, the whole uh, project from 22 to 23, we will just go here, place here 2023 and all the timelines through the whole financial model will change. Will be uh, will replace from 2022 to 2023, and you will avoid lots and lots of mistakes. So January, February, November, November, and December. So, for example, if we want to displace our project to from 2022 to 2023, oh, we started it here. No, 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 guys. We need to. We need to put this data here. So if we want to displace our project to 2023 or to 2024, so we can easily do it here and all our timelines in our financial model will change automatically. We, don't, we won't have to copy paste and copy paste new timelines.
So now let's color the years to make us. This will ease our uh, our work with uh, financial inside financial model. To see the uh, borders between the years. Copy. So now let's create the formulas for the timeline. So this will be a block for the time parameters. So first of all, we need to place um, a one where we start the operating activity. It's August 2022. For that purpose, I'm writing this formula. So this will be if and if this value equals to this. I will put a 1, otherwise 0. So I'm extrapolating this formula to the right. So now if we go back, we will, we will be able to see here one. This means that in August 2022, we have release. So now uh, we need to create another line, which will show us uh, one that we do have an operating activity at this moment, and zero means that we don't have operating activity at this moment. Uh, to this line, we will link uh, different payroll expenses, different fixed expenses, and other, other many other expenses that are mm, linked to the uh, to the uh, parameter whether we do have or don't have operating activity at the moment. So that's why we're creating the next line and calling it operating activity one zero zero zero. So the formula will be very simple. So one means that we have an operating activity at this moment, and zero means that we don't have an operating activity at this moment. So we will need these lines uh, many steps ahead when we will start modeling different, uh, different types of expenses. So then, then we need to create another line where we'll be counting months, number of months of operating activity.
because we won't be able to get the first uh, maximum revenue, the maximum revenue right from the first month of operating activity, and we will have to uh, um, uh, assign uh, this or that percentage of uh, uh, of revenue to this or that a month of operating activity. That's why we need to. Uh, count the months of operating activity so to this line we will be linking uh, different expenses which will depend on which month of uh, operating activity they occur so this is also a very important story then uh, the next story we need to uh, to specify when will be the end of, uh, of the investment stage. So now let's move to the investment stage. Investment stage zero, 01 zero. So the end of the investment stage will be one month prior to the moment when we start operating activity. So this will be, in this case, this will be July. Um, 2022 so here we start an operating activity and here we have the end of the investment stage and I will extrapolate this formula to the right and now we need to count back uh, month of uh, operating activity uh, of investment activity to the past from this moment so this will be one two three four five six seven uh, to this month we will be linking the investment stage expenses uh, to optimize all the investment plans before the operating activity starts so this is also very important so investment stage this will be 0 1 and 2 this will look like this um, I'm moving here and I'm starting writing formula from end to the beginning so if and If this one equals to zero, this one equals to zero, then we put zero. Then if This one equals to zero and this one is more than zero then we put one otherwise this value this value this value plus one then we extrapolating this formula from right to the left and now here we can see the month uh, the reverse uh, the, the reverse countdown um, of the month of investment stage so for example if we start operating activity in in 2023 uh, let's say July so what, what we are fighting for in this uh, video so for example we are starting our, our operating activity in uh, 2023 July and here it is July 2023 we have uh, now the special line for our expenses then we have the month 
the month of investment stage linked to the moment when we start operating activity and now uh, we can start uh, working on uh, expenses revenues and link all these uh, inflows and, out and outflows to this group of lines so this is the beginning of um, uh, this is the base of our financial model of mobile app maybe this video was useful for you you may give us a like subscribe share this video with your friends you can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas we can help you with that so see you guys in next videos thank you and bye